Today is going to be the unmaking over my apartment video and this video is going to be very casual, very vloggy and I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I'm going to be removing all the peel and stick tile, peel and stick wallpaper, peel and stick countertops, sanding the walls, filling in holes, just really redoing the entire apartment and putting it back into a state where we are going to get back our full security deposit or hope that we're going to get our full security deposit. So it is Tuesday the 21st of April and this video is definitely going to take a couple days to film so I'm going to be documenting and telling you guys each day throughout the process we are moving out may 1st so we legit have like nine days to finish this and i haven't started packing a thing yet so let's get started i think the first area that we are going to start in is actually going to be like the living room Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be removing is this wallpaper here. And I'm going to start at this left corner and move over to the right. It should come off very easily. It's peel and stick. This is from Society6. I will link it below if it is still available for you guys. The first piece is gone! Oh, kind of sad, but like, also very kind of fun removing it, so I'm not too mad about it. So I actually decided that I'm going to save a piece of this wallpaper and put a paper backing on it and frame it in the next apartment and it can kind of be like a little memory, which I thought was cute because this is still really pretty and graphic. And then just save like a chunk and I can cut it out later. The wall is now blank, which seems so strange because it's been fully patterned for like over a year now. And guys, the Society6 wallpaper was extremely easy to remove. It did not take one piece of paint off the wall. There's not one chip gone at all. I think the next thing that we're going to be doing is the gallery wall because I want to take everything down and then do all the spackling at once and then, you know, do all the painting at once as well. And guys, I honestly don't even want to live without a gallery wall for like nine days. It's going to be so sad, but... Things gotta be done, so we're gonna remove this. Guys, by no means am I a master spackler. You literally just need some form of a flat edge. So I am using the spackling spatula. I've had this for a long time. And then I'm using some spackle actually from my old apartment. I kept it in my DIY supplies. All right, so as you can see, there's like three tiny holes here. And I just get a little bit of the spackle on the spatula. And what I start off by doing is I kind of press it into the hole first to fill it. And then I scrape it down to remove the excess. So that's kind of like what I do. And on tiny little holes, you don't need to leave that much excess at all because no one's going to see it once you paint over it. But I just suggest going over it a couple times like this just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. So for these holes here, as you can see, there were screws here. So I'm using this sanding block and I'm going to sand these holes down a little first because a lot of stuff's going to come out of them and you're gonna wanna make this surface nice and smooth prior to stackling over it. So if you have bigger holes, I suggest sanding them first to make them smooth. I added a little bit more than you typically would. That's because I like to actually sand it down afterwards as opposed to not having enough and then having to add more. So that's kind of what it's looking like. Here we have an extra large hole. As you can see, it's the size of my fingernail. This was because we were trying to hang a heavy mirror here and for some reason the anchor wouldn't go in the wall and I gave up on it. So we had this, which was covered by that canvas print and pull. 
process. A lot of you guys know I applied peel and stick tile on all of the prior tiles. So I basically have to remove all the peel and stick tile. And if there is any form of sticky residue underneath, I'm going to have to kind of like goo gone that away. And I got some goo gone spray on Amazon, which is good because I definitely know I need that for my countertops in my bedroom. Removing the shelving unit and then filling the holes up there. So not too much in the kitchen area. So it has probably been a full hour and a half and <laughs> Marie's trying to get the <laughs> As you can see this peel and stick tile is stuck like it is really stuck on there It's definitely peeling off for sure, but it takes some force so Marie was like, would you still recommend this product? She asked me and I was like, absolutely, because for three hours of taking this off, which is probably gonna take us about two to three hours, like we got six months, a new kitchen, you know? So I don't think this is anything crazy. It didn't damage anything. It's just a little hard to remove. That's how you remove your peel and stick tile, everybody. <laughs> It is day two of the apartment unmaking over and the sink just broke and I'm going to insert the clip right here you guys of what happened. I just turned on the water and the faucet flew off of the freaking sink. And then the water sprayed into the air and went everywhere. It was spraying all over the place you guys. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Guys, I can't. The apartment is broken. I'm not getting my security by the back. This video was a bad idea. Now, luckily, we talked to the landlord and she was super nice. She's like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that just happened. Like, there was water on our ceiling. Like, it was crazy. So, uh, the, the maintenance man already came over. He checked the sink and he has to actually purchase a whole new sink. He's like, basically, the glue seal broke or like whatever the seal was that bonded the two together had broke. So, he's gonna bring over a new sink tomorrow. But we just wanted to inform her of that. So, today, what I kind of want to tackle is sanding down all of the little spots that we spackled and painting over them. Now, now, we were actually very grateful and we were able to do a curbside pickup for some paint. So we brought this swatch of our wall, which happened to be able to be chipped off from behind a power outlet. That's what my dad told me to do. He said to go ahead and unscrew one of the outlet covers and chip off a piece of the paint behind it. So I was able to chip off this piece of paint here, which was great. So I basically handed them over the paint swatch out the car window. They created this paint for us, which is a match of the color, and then they gave it back to us. So we're going to hope that this matches the wall pretty good. I'm pretty sure it will because it actually actually put the paint directly on the swatch as well and dried it and they said that this is what the ending swatch looked like so it seems like it's almost perfect for sure. has dried and can you guys even see where I painted this literally looks perfect there's a little stain right there which is not even from where I painted this either those are both stains right here and here 
The paint color looks amazing. It literally blended right in with the wall and I'm super happy with it. So we painted everything. The apartment looks crazy right now, by the way, guys, but this is real life when you're moving. So also went ahead and painted over here. Looks perfect. Still drying a little bit right there. And then we also have right over here, which I believe this is still drying. This is where that big hole was. You can't even see it. So we are going to be painting this wall here, which of course is very bright and very bold. So we cannot leave it because the whole room is pure white. Luckily, the guy that painted our room literally left us almost a full bucket of paint here. So this is the exact paint that was used on the walls in our room. So hopefully this will paint both of our rooms. This is from, I actually don't know, the label's covered. So yeah, we're going to use this white paint and start painting the wall here. So the first coat of paint is on here and as you can see it's super streaky but that's because the color underneath is super dark and we had to use the exact paint that was left by the painter prior. We didn't know it was going to be like this splotchy. It probably would have been better to use a paint and primer in one but we were left with this so this is what we're going with and we're probably going to have to do like two to three coats on the wall. Oh my gosh I just stepped in it. You stepped in the bucket? Yeah. <laughs> So it is multiple hours later. It's about 8.30 p.m. now, and we let the second coat dry. I'm going to be doing a third coat right now on the wall, which I'm hoping will be the last one. I'm pretty sure it will be, and I'm gonna share it with you guys in the morning because I feel like you guys have seen me paint over and over already in this video, so there is no need to share that with you. So I will catch you guys on the morning, and we're gonna continue on with unmaking over my apartment. Hello, hi. It is me, and it is day three of Unmaking Over the Apartment. We are in Marie's room, and the wall needs a fourth coat, which is just lovely. So we're gonna be applying the fourth coat. Um, it's actually not bad at all. Uh, we've only spent about three days, and, and honestly, we've only worked like a couple of hours each day because I've also had to do other things like relating to videos and like just work stuff as well. So if we were to probably, we could have probably done everything we've done now in one day if we really wanted to, but we have some time, so we're kind of spacing it out. Hi, Marie. Hi. <laughs> We're going to add another coat onto the wall really quickly and then I think Marie's room should be done so let's get started with that. The wall is fully complete. Now it might look a little splotchy on camera. That's just because it's still drying and it's like glossy in some areas. Um, so once that's fully dried, it will definitely be matching the entire rest of the room. Um, and here there's just kind of a lot of repetitive stuff that we've already done. I'm going to be repainting all of the wall or the green wall that's behind me over here. I'm going to be removing all the images here and look how cute the gallery wall is. I am just obsessed with these prints. They are from Decenio, which is like my favorite print brand ever. And I got the wood frames on these ones, but I'm actually doing an Instagram collaboration with them. We're doing a giveaway and giving away a huge gift card. So if you guys are not already, you must follow me on Instagram right here because you can win a humongous Decenio gift card and get all these art prints as well, which is just amazing. And then also in here, I'm going to be removing the marble countertops, the peel and stick in the bathroom, which should be exciting because they are stuck on there. And I'm going share with you how to get them off very easily.
paint is drying on the wall, the first coat in my room, I'm going to go ahead and tackle this countertop because this has been an area that I've wanted to do for a while now. As you can see, I already kind of started and then was like, wait, I need to film this for a video, so I stopped. And basically all you have to do is kind of peel up this bottom edge here, peel this up, and then once it's all peeled off, we're gonna remove all of this like gooey stuff on the underside. So I removed all the contact paper. It probably took me about maybe 10 minutes to do so, not that long at all. Can you hear this? It's sticky under there still. So what I got was this product here. It is called Goo Gone Pro Power Goo and Adhesive Remover. It's a spray gel. So I think what you have to do, I'm gonna read the um, directions on here, but I think you just spray it basically onto the surface. You leave it for five to 10 minutes and then you just scrape everything off. So let's go ahead and spray this on. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, April 24th, which I believe this is day four of Unmaking Over the Apartment, and I'm hoping that today is going to be the last day. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Yesterday, I finished up adding two coats of paint to my wall, and I believe it needs a third, maybe even a fourth coat of paint, and we're really running out of paint, so I'm hoping we're able to get the rest of it done with what we have and we don't have to go get any more because we were just left with the can that the painter painted with prior as you guys saw yesterday i went ahead and removed the marble countertop which looks great um and it's not sticky anymore which is amazing and i just have to do a little bit of gray paint in there so let's go ahead and just add a third coat of white paint to the wall and hope that that's the last one I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have the worst judgment of picking out clothing to paint in. This morning I picked out a hoodie. I'm already changed into this Mentally Gone shirt, which I felt like just fit the vibe perfectly. Yesterday, I think I had four outfit changes. It's because I get too hot and then I have to like take a picture and then I have to do this and that. So it's okay. It's fine. The packing is real. I have my prints there, stuff from my bathroom. I'm currently packing up everything. But the only other thing in the bathroom I have to finish is this. And this is from some peel and stick wallpaper. It actually did rip off the wall. It's like one from Target that I had a long time ago, like years ago. Well, like a year ago. Um, and it ripped that off. But we have the same green paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint over the top of that. I feel like we are basically done. Um, everything is pretty good. There is still some holes on the wall, as you guys can probably see up there, that are um, currently the spackle is drying, which I'm going to just sand that and then paint over it. But I feel like I don't need to show every single little part because some of it's a little bit repetitive. It is currently looking like this. It looks so good. It's almost back to normal. It's really hard to see because of that window, but there's just like some 
tiny splotchiness in some areas so I think just one more coat is going to give that the perfect finish but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video it was kind of a different one for me and it took multiple days to film so in my head I have the most craziest footage like congestion and I'm hoping that I'm able to edit this into something that is interesting so let me know if this helped you guys out at all essentially we removed all of the peel and stick wallpaper in the living room we also patched all of the holes sanded those and painted over them we removed all of the peel and stick tile in the kitchen and then and we painted Marie's bedroom wall and spackled up those holes and just like filled all those areas and then we also painted my bedroom wall spackled up all the holes in there painted them and then also my little bathroom alteration which was just like a little bit of gray that needed painted on there and I would be 100% honest with you guys and tell you if I didn't think an area looked great or if a color didn't match somewhere or if something just didn't seem as is but everything really worked out perfectly like nothing was too big of an issue at all yeah now it's just to packing I guess I have to finish packing up my space we have seven days to do so but I feel like that's definitely good enough and I will catch you guys all in my next video and I was wondering would you guys like to see a moving vlog I was going to not film one but then I was thinking that maybe I should film one because I'm going to be moving anyways and then I can maybe reveal like the popcorn ceilings that have been removed and then also the mirrors that have been re removed in that moving vlog let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like a moving vlog okay I'll let you guys go now make sure to stay safe and have a amazing rest of your day bye guys